A positive 6 coulomb charge carrier has a velocity of 1i minus 3j plus 4k meters per second. It travels through a region of uniform magnetic field given by 2i minus 4j plus 6k tesla. What vector force is experienced by the charge carrier? Okay, so in a problem like this that has to do with the magnetic field, the force we're trying to find is the magnetic force. So when we're given a problem that asks what the magnetic force is, the first thing we want to do is we want to write down the equation to solve for magnetic force. And the equation to solve for magnetic force is the force of the magnetic field is equal to the charge times the cross product between the velocity vector and the magnetic field vector. So let me repeat that. This is going to be the magnetic force Q is going to be the charge, V is going to be the velocity vector, and B is going to be the magnetic field vector. Okay, so we know here that it says a positive 6 coulomb charge carrier, meaning that the charge is going to be a positive 6, okay? But we need to find V cross b so we need to find that in order to do that v cross b cross product means we need to find the i the j and the k so first write down the i j k for the v velocity vector it says here velocity vector is one i minus three j plus 4k and for our magnetic field vector b magnetic field it says your magnetic field is given by 2i minus 4j plus 6k so 2i minus 4j plus 6k all right now we can find ijk so our answer is going to for uh it's going to follow this format i minus j plus k because whenever we do our cross product it always follows something i minus something j plus something k okay and this can eventually change from a positive to a negative depending on the calculation but foundation is always like this now to find our i component we want to cover our i component our i section right here and multiply these two numbers together and these two numbers together. So negative 3 times 6 is a negative 18, negative 18, minus 4 times negative 4 is a negative 16. So we have our i. To find our j, cover the j. So cover the j. Multiply these two together and these two together. We have 6 times 1 is 6, minus 4 times 2 is 8. This is our j. And then for our k, Cover the k, we have 1 times negative 4 is negative 4, minus 2 times negative 3 is a negative 6. So this is our k. We can simplify this. So negative 18 minus negative 16 is going to be a negative 2i minus 6 minus 8 is going to be a negative 2j plus negative 4 minus negative 6 is going to be a same thing as negative 4 plus 6, which will give us a 2k. So we can simplify this even further because a minus and a minus is a plus. So we have negative 2i plus 2j plus 2k. And this is going to be our value vector for our cross product between the velocity vector and the magnetic field vector so we can remove our question mark over here and then write down negative 2i plus 2j plus 2k so now what we need to find is our magnetic force vector so i'm going to 
erase this for more space so that we could do our calculation to find our magnetic force vector. Given that we now have our charge and we have our cross product between V and B. So re rewriting this, we have 6 times negative 2i plus 2j plus 2k. So we can plug this into a calculator. We don't need a calculator for this one. I'm just going to do it because of tradition, but 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. So we have a negative 12i. 6 times 2 is 12. So we have a 12j. And 6 times 2 is 12 again, so we have a 12k. And this is going to be our magnetic force experienced by the charge carrier. And our units is going to be in newtons, so... There you go. This is your answer.